So, this is, if anyone's familiar, a tomato hornworm thing that you get. And if you see, there's one right there. Pretty messy in here. I got this about two weeks ago. And all the food's pretty much eaten out from where they can reach it. And there's one still in there. He's at the roaming stage, so he's probably ready to go in over here. Um, I am trying to breed these. So what happens is they eat and eat and eat until they get really big, and then they stop eating and kind of roam around on the bottom. And what they do in the wild is they dig a little hole. And if you look, you can see that these guys are um, clearly different. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have a good comparison because that other one is pretty much in the roaming stage as well, a digging stage. And that means they're about to pupate. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six in here. Now, um, let's say I put them in here today. They've been in this stage for a few days now. So they'll probably pupate pretty soon. They're uh, significantly smaller, and you can see they're wiggling. They're not quite caterpillars anymore. What is actually going on is underneath that exoskeleton that you see on the outside here, they're actually pupa, and I will show you what that looks like. Right in here. This is another match that I had from before. So uh, now I did a uh, search on Google and found out how to tell whether it's a male or female. And from what I can tell, these are all female, which is not good for me. So be very, very gentle with them in this stage. But the way to tell is at the abdomen, right at the end, they'll have a little cleft if they're female, and they'll have a little bump if they're a male. So. I put them in there because it was a little, a little bit uh, moi more moist on this side because they were over there. You really shouldn't move them around too much on this side, but because these are all female and these are on a different cycle, I'm not too concerned. Um, probably just going to end up feeding to the Ackies because I don't know if these guys in here will be moths at the same time that these ones will. So we'll see. Hopefully, but um, I don't know. Um, one thing I am noticing here is that these are quite a bit larger than these. Um, now, I don't know if that's because I had six of these guys in one container sharing all the food. And these ones, I just had the last three caterpillars, I just left them in there, and they eventually pupated. So they had a lot more food between them. Um, so we'll see what happens. This is I'm, I'm new with this, and I can't really find a whole lot of information on the web. But hopefully I can breed some tomato hornworms, because the Ackies love them. And it's fun to watch them uh, try to swallow them. It takes a little while, because it's some exercise. And here's the fish tank. Unfortunately, I burned out the motor and it needs a water change. But, oh, I'm scared some fish. So, the, uh, I think I've had this tank for a year now. I'm relatively unchanged. Um, though I, when I moved, I left it at my old house and the uh, light burned out, didn't know, so pretty much all the plants died, and now the motor burned out, so I haven't been able to replace it yet. 
but the shrimp seem to be doing a job of, and and the snails see the snail there of cleaning everything keeping it not terribly dirty there hasn't been a motor running in about a month so it's not terrible I don't know if you can see a little baby guppy right there Uh, the, uh, not guppy, what are they? Is it a guppy? I guess so. But they're breeding. You see in the background the shrimp. Right in the center. There's loads of shrimp in here too. That's my inverts. That's cool. 